In this video, I'm going to show you how you could use your Arduino components and software to set up this chaser light. In order to create this project, you're going to need 12 LED lights, colors of your choice. You'll need a bunch of jumper wires. You'll need a breadboard. You'll need your Uno R3 module, power cord, and of course, a computer with your Arduino software installed and the code, which is available below the description. So let's take a look at how to wire this up. What I did is uh, I began by placing this black wire in a slot on the negative rail, and that goes to the ground slot on the power side of the board. Then I placed my 12 LEDs just like this. So here we have the, the negative lead in, in uh, along the negative rail there, the negative lead for each of the 12 LEDs, and I spaced them two slots apart so there was enough space for the bulbs. If you try to put them uh, side by side in the slots, then uh, there just isn't enough room for them. All right, so then on the positive, lead of each LED. That goes in the A column on the breadboard here. Here's column A. So all of the positive leads are along that A column there. There's a better view. And again, each LED is placed in every other slot. So that means that the, uh, the positive lead for the first LED is in slot A9. The second LED is A11, and then A13, and so on. Now in the same row as the positive LED lead, you're going to have wires coming out. So. Um, in the B column of your breadboard. You're going to have all of these wires coming out and just like with the LEDs it's going to be every other slot starting with slot B9. So it goes B9, B11, B13, B15, and so on. Alright, now going back to the wire that's coming out of slot B9, that's going to go to your UNO board and it's going to go into slot 13. Then the next wire coming from slot B11, the second wire here, the second white wire from slot B11, that's going to go to your UNO board in slot 12 and then the pattern continues. The third wire goes in slot 11 and then the next in 10 all the way down to slot number 2. The last two slots will remain open. Once you have it wired up you'll need to power up your Arduino board by connecting it to your computer. Now in this case I've already uploaded the code to uh, to my board prior to making this video so that's why it's already going through the chaser sequence but um, you may need to download the code. Um, it's provided, a link is provided below the video in the description and um, once you get the code up on your computer which looks something like this. You'll need to you'll need to upload it to your Arduino board, wait a moment, and then and then it will start working. I'm gonna go ahead and re-upload it. It'll go through its phase and then it will restart just like it did. Alright, so there you go everybody. I hope you found this interesting. Please take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you do, I'll bring more fun projects forward.